that's about as fast as it goes. It's faster in reverse than it is forwards. So there's a bit of overrun there. Um, so we need to, because it's a hobby wing, we need to reverse our controller, which then means the motor will be going the wrong way. And so I'm going to switch some motor wires over, like I said. And it seems, yeah, it seem, seems like it needs a, th uh, a calibration for the throttle. Um, for which I've actually sent myself the instructions. So let's try calibrating the, the throttle, then we'll swap some motors, uh, motor wires over. And then yeah, so you turn your transmitter on. While you're holding the red button on the ESC, turn on the ESC. When it turns on, while still holding the red button down, the red LED should flash let go with red button right right that's great um now leave the throttle in neutral position and hit the red button uh, and then pull throttle and press the red button and then reverse press the button Right, now that's calibrated, the ESC will then be calibrated. Turn that off, turn that back on again, and hopefully now my throttle and my ESC are calibrated. Wow, that's got some, that's got some real talk to it, that motor. Right, motor's not hot, ESC isn't hot, I think we're in business. Now, that initial acceleration was a bit fast, so we are going to just go through our programming settings and just see if we can dial down some of uh, the punch. There we go, right, great. Oh, that took a bit longer than I wanted to. So, just clean down the tip. Soldering irons on my safe. Tape up those two motor wires. And just make sure it turns the way that we want it to. Right, so I've got quite a bit of expo on my controller, so I might turn that down. Um, but now we're going to install this in a crawler. So I'm going to change camera angle and off we go. Let's let's put some wheels on. We've got the ESC on. Uh, we've got everything else on. Um, this is this is just a, a simple thing to get your wheels on, nice and easy. Yes, this desk is a mess. So. Bob your wheel on like you normally do. If you run a crush washer like me, that's great. Start off the wheel nut, then grab your drill with a seven mil drill bit. Uh, this is a Bosch 18 volt uh, set to torque number seven. Hold your wheel. And that's dead easy. No messing about with those little tools, no, no faffing with anything, just get it straight on there, bolted up, and off you go. Now if you're out on the trail and your wheel nuts come a bit loose, then first of all curse me, second of all come into the comments section and make me know about it, and third of all you maybe probably should have um, just double checked with the normal one. 
but these wheels are probably going to go on and off several times while I'm trying to test this out so uh, they don't have to be super tight but yes if I went out if, if I'm happy with this then I, I will more than likely um, more than likely make sure everything's tight let's see how fast this thing goes because we might just want to dial down the timing um, or something but now it's now it's actually got a bit more resistance maybe the uh, startup might be a bit more gentle who knows we'll find out oh that's uh if I if I touch the throttle gently If you get it right, it's actually quite controllable. For a motor and an ESC that costs less than £50. In fact, the motor and the ESC together, I think, are just slightly cheaper than a Hobbywing 1080 ESC. We'll have to see how fast it goes but I'm going to do some testing uh, and I'm going to take it from there. It seems like the ESC is running at quite a high duty cycle because I'm not getting the not getting a lot of ringing from that. But I'm going to have a little play with this. I'm going to see if it's any better. It feels a lot lighter. Hopefully we can get that brass off. I'm going to put these little batteries on charge and I'll be back soon. It climbs. It climbs really well. It climbed a 65 degree, in fact 65 and a half degree slope with the shell on, this uh, big funky shell. And yeah, had a couple of flips where it was just getting to the limit. The uh, front left wheel was just starting to lift. I've kind of stopped because it's chewing up the tyres a bit because I'm using um, grip paper to simulate what rocks would be like. Um, yeah, low speed startup is okay. We'll try. That's fine. Full speed. Yeah, it, it, it jumps forwards, it spins the wheels. The, the tiny little batteries that I'm running um, mean that the ESC and the motor are actually mounted across the front axle as low as they can in the chassis. Gets the central gravity super, super low, but actually gets the weight super forwards. Whereas previously I was running the ESC and the battery on the sliders. I'm going to keep the sliders on. Um, I might end up running the, the, the bigger battery. I might think about mounting it somewhere a bit more, a bit more central. Not sure if I'm going to use this system at the weekend because it is it is saying it's going to rain this weekend and that would not be good because I don't know if the cheapest brushless 120 amp ESC from eBay would actually be waterproof and I'm not sure I'm willing to find out after I've hiked about 45 minutes up a steep hill. What is nice about this battery, which didn't suffer any crazy voltage drops, uh, didn't didn't really have any problems or issues at all is it has a JST connector on it so I can plug my servo directly into the battery have direct servo power to the battery uh, from from the battery and it's just great like it, it, it's it's a surprisingly good system yes when you're on a flat surface it's 
starts up a little bit quickly but when it was on uh, a slope as soon as the there's a bit of sort of binding or back pressure on the wheels uh, the startup is super 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 slow and smooth and and really quite annoying because it's it's just good like really 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 good and considering that the battery the motor the esc are a quarter of an axe systems price the battery motor and esc cost less in fact you get two batteries two batteries a motor and an esc cost less than a home hobbies revolver in the uk um and then you've got to add a motor uh, then you've got to add an, a decent ESC, like a Sidewinder and a decent battery on top of it. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, if you like to experiment or if you've got a truck that you're building up as like a, a, a fair weather, non-mud, non-water rig that you want a cheap powertrain that has got a stupid amount of torque in it. Like we are talking way more than a 550 motor probably as much if not more than the axe system I, I like this motor seems super super dense super super tractable um think of it a shot um and yeah that's that that really is it i i am lost for words so yeah if if this was any use if you liked this video if you've got anything to say or any questions to ask chuck it all in the comments um give me a like subscribe for more craziness like this and have a great time thanks for watching <laughs> <laughs>